Hello cookbook friends, my name is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and this week we're going through cookbooks with the word feast somewhere in the title. This one is A Feast of Serendib Recipes from Sri Lanka by Mary Ann Mohanraj, and I've never, I've only looked through one other Sri Lankan cookbook, so I'm very curious. This is from my library, it came out in July 2020. A Feast of Serendib Recipes from Sri Lanka. Let's check it out. Illustrations by Pamadu Tenakun. Contents. Ethnic heritage and colonial influences. Sri Lankan meals. A few caveats. Homesick. Spices and ingredients. Master recipe Sri Lankan curry powder. Master recipe seasoned onions. And menu suggestion kith and kin. And then she gets into appetizers, short eats, and snacks. Then eggs, poultry, and meat. Fish and seafood vegetables, lots of vegetables, Woo! accompaniments such as cucumber salad, grains such as Bombay toast, and drinks. Are there any desserts? Yes, sweets at the end of the book. So let's skip ahead a little bit, check out the pictures. Here's ethnic heritage, colonial influences, where we learn about Sri Lanka, ingredients, la la la. Okay, master recipe, Sri Lankan seasoned onions, Eh, not a great picture, but it would be hard to take a picture of a gloppy mess of onions, and I'm sure they smell fabulous and taste great. Here's some educational info, etc. All right, I think we're in the first chapter. Appetizers and snacks. For example, Chinese rolls, curried mushroom spread, curry buns, ribbon tea sandwiches made with carrot, beet, and spinach. Let's check it out. Ooh, the photography is not good. Let's be honest. I'm not trying to be negative or make fun of anyone, but it's really bad. Patties are usually chicken. I like how they show the patty pastry and the filling. It's very easy to read this. It says two hours makes about 30. I love knowing how long it should take. Here's a little illustration. Very simple recipes, but it goes on and a picture of how they look at the end. And look at these beautiful ribbon tea sandwiches. I wish that was a larger glossy photo. Those look nice. Here's some pork and lamb, basic process for poultry and meat curries, very educational. Okay, egg curry and omelet curry. I like that there's a picture for the recipes. Eggs in meatballs. Doesn't look very appetizing, but that's chicken curry and I'm sure it tastes amazing. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Meatball curry. Oh dear, these pictures are not good. Okay. Beef s'more, two to four hours marinating and plus two hours of work and serves eight people. Well, good things are worth the wait. Now we're in the fish and seafood chapter. We'll talk about crab curry, cuttlefish, deviled shrimp, fish white curry, mackerel and egg curry, salmon curry, etc. Here's an example. Here's the cuttlefish or squid curry. I'm going to skip ahead to the next chapter. Vegetables. And she goes through curry and deviled and poreal and tempered and farai and special preparations. For example, lime masala mushrooms. Yum. And a sambar stew. Here's beet curry. I didn't expect that to have so many chopped up beets. I thought they would be pureed a little more. Sounds good. Green mango curry. Here's the picture. Um, Brussels sprouts poreal. Uh, eggplant potato and pea pod poreal. I'm not sure what a poreal is and I'm probably saying that wrong. Poreal? I don't know. Mixed vegetable, tempered lentils, perupu, tempered potatoes. Not sure what tempered means. I know what it means in regard to chocolate. Lime masala mushrooms. Okay, horrible pictures, but I bet the flavor is amazing. Here's the accompaniments chapter. Pickled beet salad, cucumber salad, mango ginger chutney. Oh, I was hoping there'd be some chutneys in here. Bitter gourd sambal. That sounds Indonesian. Coconut sambal, mm -hmm. that sounds Indonesian. Eggplant sambal, and we're gonna skip ahead to the next part of the book. Mango pickle, skip, skip, grains. Uh, hoppers, something called hoppers. And noodles, love noodles. Plain roti, oh, I'm glad there's a roti recipe. Red rice kongi. And now what do we have? Coconut semolina, we're still in grains. Is there, aha, drinks. Chai, cocktails, faluda, mango lassi, mango passion fruit punch, punch, fresh sweet lime juice. Okay, we know what drinks look like. Let's get to the sweets. Love cake. Oh, that's cute. 
<gasps> Ooh, is that Turkish delight? But it's oh marshmallows. Pardon me. And spiced coconut custard and after dinner digestive. Okay. So all in all, fabulous recipes. A lot of things I want to learn to make, like roti and the chutneys especially, and the curries, all the vegetables. Pictures are not great. So this will not be my favorite cookbook I ever looked through, but it's only my second Sri Lankan cookbook, and I'm very glad it was published. And if you're curious about Sri Lankan food, you definitely should pick this up. Maybe in the second edition, the pictures will be a little bit better. Thank you for watching, and for more cookbook look-throughs, reviews, previews, and photography bitching, you can follow Cookbook Divas on our website, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.